Hey, it's Dr. Amanda with Straight Smile Solutions, straightsmilesolutions.com. I've been sitting on this piece of content for a while, wondering how I could make this video without overstepping and getting my channel pulled down because I've heard of other doctors out there who make YouTube videos and, and have educational platforms that have gotten themselves in big trouble taking on this topic. The thing is, is it does directly relate to orthodontics, which does directly relate to my channel. So um, I'm going to give you some resources and you can do your own research. I'm not going to even say my opinion. So that's that's kind of where it has to be. But um, really, one really cool podcast, if you want to follow a podcast that talks a lot about hormones and HRT, and also it goes into the whole GLP-1, Ozempic stuff, um, gut microbiome, um, how this relates to overall health. Remember that the oral cavity is directly related to the gut. Everything's interconnected. Um, the teeth and the gums and the bone are all directly related to your hormones, your insulin levels. This is all interconnected. How your body is functioning is going to reflect in your teeth, your bite, how teeth move. This, this is easy to find out the relationship. All you have to do is put in those keywords in Google, comma scholar, and you can look up all the journal articles. I have like 10 journal articles in front of my face and I'm just gonna read off the titles. But you can do, you can read these yourself. Effective HRT in the periodontal status of postmenopausal women. Um, effective HRT on insulin resistance in postmenopausal women. Does HRT therapy impact implant osteointegration in females? Um, HRT associated with slower biological aging. There are a lot of women on HRT and you cannot get it nowadays. Because of the Women's Health Initiative, which came out 20, 25, 30 years ago, um, HRT went to a screeching halt in terms of insurance-based and just traditional medicine. You have to go more alternative medicine in order to get your hands on HRT um, if you're in perimenopause. And I'm telling you, there's a lot of women on it. Pretty much everyone my age I know is on it. And we have to go to all weird links to get access to it. Not illegal, it's all legal, it's prescribed. It's just not covered by insurance, it's incredibly expensive. Um, everybody I know is on it. I don't know anyone who hasn't been on it or maybe they're on GLP-1 peptides and HRT. Um, every educated woman I know is taking it. Let's put it that way. I, I don't ask, but it somehow comes up, it always comes up in a conversation. So. If everyone I know is on it, but nobody's talking about it, and we know by research that it's directly related to tooth movement, osteoclasts, osteoblasts, os implant osteointegration, um, you know, we should really know a little bit more about how this works in orthodontics. And if a patient is on it or not on it, I should know the difference. Um, I did know there was a long period of time where nobody was on it because it was a big no-no um, before some of these new studies have come out where now they're really being careful to dose it correctly and to balance the estrogens and the progestins and really make it a low and a normal process with all the other hormones. I think before 20 or 30 years ago, it was very high and it was unbalanced. That's my understanding at least, at least what I've been explained to. But um, I always found that working on women past age 40 was extremely unpredictable. Like guys predictable, you know, unless they were smoking or they had diabetes, but women, I never quite figured it out. Like why sometimes it's very predictable, why sometimes it's just weird and they have weird pains and, and I, I kind of figured out it has to do something with this. So that's, that's my opinion, at least from my experience, it's got to have something to do with this. Um, so anyways, take your time, do your own research, you know, do your own white paper research. You can read a good journal article. Probably in my lifetime, it's not going to be solved. It's the research is just starting to really explode in this and there's so many women on it. But I think if you have a female over age 38 or 40, you should be just aware in the back of your mind. Things could be unpredictable um, and there's probably no way for you to control it. But definitely opening up that conversation. I think nowadays you should know everything that I mean that they're on in terms of herbs, vitamins, supplemental hormones. Some of this stuff, like I said, is not going to, they're not going to write it on the medical chart. So you just need to be aware as to what they're taking and just in the back of your mind. Just, just be prepared. That's the only thing. That's all I can say. I don't, I don't really know what else to say. All right. Thanks so much. I just wanted to create some awareness. You can do your own research and maybe in some, some way down the, down the road, uh, dentists will learn more about this. All right. Thanks.